Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Kreis, but it's actually average now, and that's the whole point of this video. Before I begin and start discussing this stuff, I just want to say the game I'm playing right now is called Moonlighter. It's really cool. It's a roguelike game where you, uh, it's kind of a dungeon crawler, but when you die or come back from the dungeons, you can sell your items at a shop. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. I highly recommend checking it out. Anyway, without further ado, I should probably address uh, the recent changes to the channel you might notice now that I have a new icon, my name's been changed, new banner, uh, and this is to basically fit my general uh, online persona, I guess. Uh, not many people online know me as Kreis, other than this YouTube channel, but some of you also may know me as Average regarding the T-Shaw community, and that's kind of why I'm uploading this video and why I'm doing this kind of rebrand, mainly because it's a bit confusing to have two different aliases on the internet, and I was kind of just thinking like, why? That's pretty much the whole reasoning to the name change. I hope you guys like it. I don't know. Uh, but that will be the end of Kreis, unfortunately. It was a good run. I won't lie. Not the channel. Sorry. I just want to emphasize this isn't the end of the channel at all. I do plan on uploading. I know I've slowed down a lot recently and uh, that's mainly just, I don't know, lack of inspiration. I don't know what to record or what to upload really. Uh, so give me some suggestions in the comments below. That's another Another thing I wanted to mention is I definitely want to uh, start uploading some more videos, but I don't know what. So give me some ideas, guys. Uh, really, it can be anything. I do something that I do have planned is a full T Shock plugin development series. I want to redo that series. I only did two episodes, I think, but I want to make a full series following the brand new T Shock tutorials wiki, uh, which is something made by me and uh, a few other contributors. Uh, that's pretty much all I want to say is there's definitely a rebrand. I am Kreis, if you are confused, uh, and that name will kind of be getting put to rest. So I'm now going to be uh, doing the intros as follows. Fuck, I forgot how I usually do them. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Average. That's how it's going to be. <laughs> so I guess this will also fill in the gaps for anybody new to the channel. Why there is a name discrepancy seen some of the videos, uh, any video prior to this one, really. I don't know. There's not much else to say, to be honest. That's kind of it. Just a rebrand. I guess I could give a little bit of an update on the arm for those of you who have been following me in the past recent months. You'd know that uh, I broke my arm in April, which has kind of been one of the reasons why I've been less active. Not really, if I'm being honest. I was in a pretty bad place for a while, I won't lie. I mean, just I went six months basically having a disabled right arm. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I broke it in April and I uh, needed surgery. So I got the surgery and they damaged the nerves in my right arm and hand. So I wasn't able to use my hand at all up until like, I want to say a couple of weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago. Uh, so it's definitely been a lot of change for me, I will say. And I'm really excited to actually have a working hand again. I'm finally using it and, uh, you know, getting back into my routine, doing some weightlifting here and there. But anyway, so it's going really great so far. I'm actually, I no longer have a brace of any kind, so... For those of you who don't know, I had to wear a brace on my arm for quite a while so I could actually keep my fingers straight because otherwise they would get super stiff. Uh, same with my wrist, it would kind of just dangle. A bit uh, confusing to explain, so I... I don't blame you if this isn't making that much sense, but the good news is it's gotten a lot better. Um, aside from that, let me know what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. I'm definitely interested in uploading more. Uh, I noticed it's kind of a weird spot to end or to go on a little bit of a hiatus as I have because I was kind of getting a lot of views and I don't know, we could have rode off that momentum, but I'm not too worried. I think we can get that momentum back. I mean, it's still the same Kreis, you know? Average, though. You call me average now, all right, bucko? <laughs> it's fucking average. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's really it. I don't know. I guess to end this video off, I'm just going to show you guys the shot mechanic of this game. Because it's pretty cool. I like it, at least. So, as you saw, I escaped the dungeon, and now I'm gonna open my store. And basically, I kind of just load items into here. Actually, it would make more sense if we put them here. Uh, 
But yeah, you kind of just offload items onto these shelves. I got my shop upgraded a little bit. As you can see, you can set prices for certain items, so I don't actually know how much these sell. Uh, I've never sold them before, but as you can see here, people really like the price of 1000 for these, so we can actually probably up that to like 1300 and we'll see how that goes. Uh, people, or the, your, the NPCs will have uh, little kind of moods on what they think the item price should be, so you'll probably see some in a second. This guy's asking probably for something. It's a quest that I failed. Oopsie, sorry buddy. Uh, <laughs> so there's also quests. I just didn't have enough for that guy, so didn't really mean much. The NPCs will look around, see what they want, maybe buy something, and I guess we'll just we'll just get my inventory cleared out. As you can see, I got 94k credits in the top left, so I know pretty fucking snazzy if you do say or fuck if I do say so myself. It's taken me a long time to get here. I will say that. Uh, but this is a game I'm. I've been having a lot of fun with recently. I think it's on sale for like two bucks, so fucking pick it up. It's honestly worth the money, uh, and two bucks, you really can't go wrong, so. Uh, but for this game, I do recommend playing on controller, and normally I'm so opposed to playing games on controllers, but this game, I would say absolute must to play it on controller. I can't even imagine playing it on uh, keyboard and mouse. I know you can, but I actually just straight up haven't. So this is one of the quests, uh, so we need... Oh, I think I actually have them straight in my chest already, do I? Okay, I have four. Uh, so those old bulb things, somebody will come in and ask for them at some point and give me a nice little cash infusion. I guess while I'm doing this video, I also want to mention, uh, I am getting into the world of freelance. I've done a few jobs recently for people, little contract gigs, uh, regarding software development, uh, sysadmin work and, uh, technical customer support. So hit me up on discord. I'll also leave a link in the description to my website with all my contact information and some extra details on what I do and what I'm hoping to achieve. Uh, so that's something else I did want to offer. I've been keeping myself busy with that, making some money. You know, uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a college student. So uh, yeah, we're a little broke at the moment. Uh, but we're getting the money up, you know, and I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So, uh, yeah, definitely enjoying life recently. I gotta say, oh shit, we have a lot of items we can put down. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, what is this? I don't think I've ever actually... Okay, 1,000. Let's do 1,400. Uh, how about this? Yeah, okay, we'll keep that. And then, oh, I've never sold one of these. What is this? Magnetite? Okay, let's do 400 each. Uh, at the beginning of this game, you kind of get a little, little scammed because you don't really know how much things are going to cost. So you kind of just got to keep on raising the prices until people become unhappy with it. I don't think anybody has been unhappy with any item that I've sold in this video, but you'll see it. Uh, they'll go over here and they'll be like, eh, this sucks. And then I'll just walk out, be all disappointed and stuff. Oh, this is actually a robber. So you get little tips. You got to watch out for this guy because he'll try and snag one of your items. Oh, perfect. These guys got to be working together. We're going to quickly sell this. Boop. This guy's going to, oh. Boom! Get out of my store, bitch! Get out of my store, bitch! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I uh, just, you know... I, I get really immersed in this game, so... Okay, anyway, guys. So, we're gonna close up shop. You know, literally. Uh, and also for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Just kind of hearing me ramble, I guess. And I hope you enjoy the new rebrand. Because I honestly think Average is a much better brand than Kreis ever was. Uh, I want to shout out Evoation. I, I feel like I shout him out in every video. But he, uh... Well, I guess he didn't make my branding. But he, uh did the AI prompts and this is what we got. So yes, my, uh, my branding is fully AI generated, if you can believe it, which I would never personally be able to make anything as cool as the, the branding that I have right now. So we're just going to stick with it for a while. I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more. And again, I want to emphasize, please give me some suggestions on what to do in the future. I kind of want to stray away from Terraria and Minecraft just because like, I don't know, guys. Come on, you know? There's only so much you can do with those games. Um, and I just, yeah, I'm kind of done. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not done. But uh, I'd like to stray away if possible. Thank you for watching, guys. And I hope you had a good day. Thank you.